Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles SH Figue Arts Leonardo and Donatello from Bandai and Tamashi Nations. That's right, the SH Figue Arts line gets a dose of turtle power with their brand new line of TMNT action figures that are based on the original cartoon series. I have been very excited about these ever since they were announced, and the first two figures have finally been released. So let's go ahead and take a look at Leo and Donnie. As you can see, both figures come in really nice window box packages. The window fully showcases our action figure and shows off some of the accessories within, and we've even got a nice color scene in the background and the bottom of the box that matches the signature Turtles headband. We've got an image of the turtle figure right there on the front and a really cool kind of brick sewer motif that goes all the way around to the back side of the box where we get a few out of package images of the action figure in action there along with a look at all four turtles posed together. Really great boxes there that do a wonderful job of kind of showcasing the figure and everything within but let's go ahead and pull those figures outside of the packaging and take a closer look at them. So as you can see, we've got Leo and Donnie here outside of the box. And let's start with our measurements where you can see they stand just under six inches tall. Uh, the line's in the six inch scale, but these figures are more around the 5.5 mark, which is good. Uh, that way when figures like Shredder come out, which we already know is coming, uh, he should be taller than the Turtles because that's the way he appeared in the original cartoon series. Now, getting them both standing here side by side, you'll notice that there's a lot of like about them. In fact, they do share sculpts with the body and even the heads that I have on the Turtles currently. But the cool thing is that these figures both come with a ton of accessories that includes interchangeable hands, weapons, and of course, alternate heads so you can really change up the way these figures are displayed. And first things first, these guys do an amazing job of capturing the likeness from the original cartoon series. It's so amazing seeing toys that are based right off of that old cartoon that I grew up watching. I absolutely love it. And I can already tell right off the bat, these are some of the best uh, representations of these characters in action figure form. In fact, these are definitely the best cartoon turtles we have received to date thus far. Very, very cool looking figures. So let's go ahead and get in here and look a little bit closer. You can see the paint jobs are very crisp and very clean on there. Uh, they do feature the same color kind of green skin. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the coloration seen in the bandana and the elbow pads and the wrist pads and the knee pads. So Donnie's rocking the purple while Leo's rocking the blue. Uh, but just really wonderful details all the way around the figure. Look at the turtle shells. Uh, just a really great paint deco. It's a nice flat color. Um, but it just blends so well and it's so colorful and clean. It looks like an animated specimen. I'm so, so blown away by just how beautiful these are. And I got to say, I was really surprised by just how solid and hefty these figures feel. They feel nice and quality made. Uh, a lot of times when you get SH Figure Arts figures or any of these kind of import figures, they do kind of a, have a lightweight feel or the uh, joints kind of feel like they're going to fall apart. And I don't get that at all with these guys. Part of that is because the lower portion down here, uh, the lower legs and the feet are a mixture of die cast metal and plastics blended together. So there's a lot of weight down here and that is really good for balancing. The reason that's done is to keep these guys perfectly balanced. It gives them a wonderful weight and you can see that that die cast metal and the plastic blends in pretty seamlessly. You can't really tell any difference in the coloration there. So just overall, they are wonderful sculpts that do a fantastic job of capturing the cartoon likeness so let's talk about articulation before we move any further uh, because of course uh, sh figure arts is known for having a high articulation count you should be able to pose these guys around quite a bit so here's what we got with the turtles those heads are ball jointed so you can see a great range of motion where you can roll the heads all the way around but we're also jointed at the neck so look at that you can move the neck forwards and backwards for a really great range of motion with the overall head movement 
Those uh, shoulders are nice and ball jointed, but are also have all these great joints down inside the socket. Look at that. So it's like double ball jointed with the joint inside and on the actual shoulder itself. So not only can you move the arms up, but you can kind of move the whole arm limb up and down. So great range of motion there. It also comes forward. Look at that. The way the shoulder kind of leans forward. So you can really move the arms forward a great distance. You got bicep swivels, you got really solid double joints at the elbows there for a good range of motion, and then you can swivel those wrists and with also kind of hinges there, it's a nice hinge joint as well, so really great range of motion, and you can see how tight it all is, I mean it is real solid, it's holding in place, it's not loose, which is very, very nice. Uh, even though our turtle has a turtle shell, they still worked in a nice torso articulation, so look at that, you can bend the figure all the way around there, uh, he's also posing down here at the pelvis. You you can see great ball joints at the thighs. So it makes them go outwards, forwards, backwards, swivel. Great double joints at the knees. Look at those joints on the knees. I love the way it bends down and kind of covers up the joint there. That is so nice. Uh, great ball joints at the ankles as well. And you can see, again, it's got that great range of motion down there. And then even the toes have articulation. And it's all nice and tight in the feet. Again, that's a mixture of plastic and die cast metal parts. So these guys pose really well they stand great in several different poses you should really be able to get some great display options out of these guys i am really impressed with them so this is where things start to get even more fun let's go ahead and start with the interchangeable heads Leonardo does have an alternate head uh, that has a bit more of an animated expression. You can see he's kind of got that stern teeth gritting pose. And then Donatello has got a much happier pose, which is very cool. You know, looks a lot like the way these turtles acted in that original cartoon series. So happy face, tongue kind of sticking out. Very easy to interchange the heads. They just pop right off the joints at the necks there. So let's go ahead and pop both of these heads off here. And then we'll pop these new heads on in place. Just got to kind of match it up with the joint, give it a nice firm press, and it locks in place. Now the other thing you'll need to do is the back of the bandana actually pops off the head and we'll then put on the new head. And there's only one way you can actually plug it in because it's uh, the peg is shaped one specific way for the socket on the back. So you just got to plug that in there. It's a nice tight fit. And now we have two very different expressions on our turtles' faces. So another thing I thought was really cool is we have the option to change the back of their belts in order to holster their weapons. So you can leave them just the straight solid lines like this, but you also have the option to put on a spot for Leonardo to house his katanas and Donatello to house his bow staff. It works just the same way as interchanging everything else. It's just little pegs there. So you can pop the back of the belt off and in its place, we can put this little uh, piece right here on the back of Leonardo. Just like that, there we go. And the same with Donatello here. We're gonna pop off this smooth part of his belt. You can see the pegs are nice and tight too. So they're definitely holding in place. Shouldn't have to worry about them falling out or anything like that. And boom, just like that. Now we have a slot on Donnie's back so we can put that bow staff weapon that he comes with. And we got the spaces on the back of Leo's belt where he can house his katanas. Now you'll notice that they're kind of low on a shell, but I do believe that is the way they appeared in that original cartoon series. They were kind of lower like that when he actually did uh, sport them on his back. So pretty sweet stuff. So before we actually start putting the weapons into their hands, uh, we're gonna have to do some part swapping with the hands themselves. Uh, each figure comes with four pairs of hands and they're the same hands. So when they come out of the package, they've got the closed fists. But aside from that, we have the open palmed hands, just like this, we have two of those. We have two uh, slightly closed hands. The fingers are just kind of uh, almost in a gripping position. And then we have the actual gripping hands, which we're gonna use for holding onto those weapons. So again, just like changing out the head, you just gotta give a nice tug onto those hands there. They pop off the ball joint and we can put the new hands on in place, just like that. So let's go ahead and swap all these hands out, that way we can get the weapons placed in the hands. 
All right, so we've got our new hands on, and as you can see, they hold on to their weapons nice and tightly. I love that. You can see the weapon actually fits very tightly into the hands there. This works out so much better than having posable fingers, in my opinion. I love just being able to swap out the hands. That way they get nice, tight grips on their weapons. And there's some really great poses you can get by mixing and matching those parts. Donatello can do single-handed bow staff poses, dual-handed bow staff poses. Leonardo can cross his blades. He can use just one blade at a time. I mean, it's really amazing the different ways you can mix and match the different hands there and just come up with some alternate ways to display these weapons these guys just really knocked it out of the park So lastly, each turtle does come with one other accessory. Uh, Leonardo comes with this city sewer sewer lid. Uh, it's just a flat little disc, basically. It is nicely decoed. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can do with it. You can use that kind of loosely gripping hand to have them hold on to it. I don't know, maybe you can throw it like a frisbee or something, but uh, you do have that as a fun accessory. Also works as a great little display piece just to put at the floor by the turtles there. And then Donatello comes with a slice of pizza. A nice Nice drippy cheese slice there with pepperonis. Uh, this, of course, works great with like those open palmed hands there, so you can put the slice in his hand. But just really fun to get some extra little accessories with these guys. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Let's go ahead and start off by comparing them to the recent Playmates Toys Classic Collection figures, which were also based on the original cartoon series. Looking at them side by side, you can really see the difference in the scale, but also in the sculpt. These new figures from SH Figure Arts do a much better job, in my opinion, of capturing that classic cartoon look. And now, just for fun, let's go ahead and pair them up alongside their vintage action figure counterparts. And how about alongside the vintage Toon Turtles, which were also loosely based off of the original cartoon series. And of course, let's go ahead and stand them alongside the recent and amazing arcade game Turtles from NECA Toys. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Leonardo and Donatello SH Figuarts action figures from Bandai and Tamashi Nations. I love these. I really, really do. I think they are very well made. I love the quality. I was completely surprised by the quality with how hefty and solid they felt. The paint jobs are nice and clean. The interchangeable parts are a definite positive with these guys. And overall, these make for some really great displayable figures. They look great standing alongside some of the other awesome renditions of the various Ninja Turtles figures we've gotten over the years. And I look forward to adding Michelangelo and Raphael to this lineup which I'll definitely be checking out as soon as they are released. So these figures are available at online and specialty shops right now. Places like Big Bad Toy Store currently have them in stock. So happy hunting, my friends! Hey guys, did you enjoy this video? Then why not do me a favor and hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of these figures. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on one of my Ninja Turtles reviews. Until next time, my friends.